Hey everyone, welcome to my new video. Thank you for checking out if you're new or returning. Now, today's video will be my very first tack haul. There are two different tack stores that I do buy from. One that I have it bought from that I started when I first started riding and got my riding gear and some tacks and treats for my horses and barn supplies is Green Hawk. Another one that I have recently just started buying from, but I also have a few supplies from, is a spruce wood tack. And to start off with, I will be explaining a few of the supplies that I have gotten uh, from a Green Hawk uh, that I have here, my very first tack haul. One of the first things that I would like to show you guys is the decline uh, groomer uh, that I will be using uh, for uh, the shedding season. This one I do have from my full size horse. But, and then another one, which is the same supply, is the smaller one that I will be using on my own dog and my minis. If you guys would like, I can do another video of me showing you guys using these on the horses and give a little review on them. Next, I have got dressage cones. There are eight of them. These are all letters that I'm used to at my riding stable and at me riding on my own property. I do not have an indoor or outdoor arena. So to help me with more of my shapes and different lines and stuff, I have it invested in it, these cones. But if you are not huge into horses or all right, getting into horses. One of the nice way to remember these letters is a nice little saying. Starting at the bottom of the arena, we have A, which stands for all, King, Edward, horses, can manage, big, C is at the top of the arena. Okay. And stuff, especially when you're doing a dressage tests, a lot of the, the different movements they have to do are these letters, which really, really helps. supplies that I would like to show you are some of the first few things that I got from the other store, the Spruce Wood Attack. One of them are these mobile wraps that you would use if your horse has some type of injury and needs to use something like a poultice. If there's a cut to kind of help keep it in place. And to wrap around these so that these also stay in place. I've got maybe banding wraps. But if, because they are used for injuries and I want to keep them clean until I have to use them, which hopefully won't be anytime soon, I will not be adding in a clip of the, these ones being on my horse. But if you would like to see 
what a standing bandage looks like on a horse. I will add a link in the description below of that video that I have already posted quite a few weeks ago. Next, we have my first full-size horse collapse. These are ice blue from the Zelenia collection. Next thing I have invested on are some braided hair ties. These are bright rubber bands made for mane and tail braiding. Next, I have invested in a new saddle cover, nice and black. Next that I have is a new belt. This is the very first belt that I've purchased with my own money. So it's nice and supple, light, and it feels very, very nice and stuff. And I wear this all the time now. And there's the bow. <laughs> and the last one that I bought is a hat from Amu, which is a, called a Fleck Blue. And it fits nicely and everything. Alright, so I will end the video here. Here, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are new or haven't done it so before, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification for any for my future videos that I will be posting. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.